Hi there, it's Donna from Taffy Crafting and today I have nothing to show you as a preview. Um, I just wanted to do something where I start, you know, just start something and see where it ends up. And all I've got is this bit of paper with, with a bit of an idea on it from some inspiration that I found online. So this is my kind of card base and I've got my um, measurements on there and it's going to kind of come over like that it's going to have a bit of a window and then this side is going to fold in like that and it's going to have something on there that will fit through the window that's kind of what I'm going with so if you like to watch videos where you just see um, somebody do something from start to finish you don't mind that it's going to be about half an hour potentially up to 45 minutes long. I haven't even chosen the DSP or the colour of cardstock yet. Um, if, if that's something that you don't mind, then grab a cup of tea, go and stick the kettle on um, or a glass or something if you prefer um, and just watch as you go through my thought processes as I put this card together. That's kind of what I'm doing there. I might stop and start the video, just pause it if I'm looking for dies or if I'm going to die cut something because I can't get my big shot here um, but really just going to watch something evolve and see what happens I've kind of got a few ideas um, what I want to do um, so if you don't know me already if this is the first time that you've come across my channel my name's Donna this is Taffy Crafting I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in Wales in the UK um, and this is just what I love to do creating things and this is my fun fold for fun fold Friday tomorrow so I need to get my skates on film this video write up a blog post ready to schedule it for tomorrow morning um, so let's get going now myself and two of my crafty friends we um, sometimes if we buy a lot of paper um, like designer series paper and we've got quite a lot we might share it out because um, we always end up with such a lot of it left as the catalogue finishes um, so we do share out what we buy and actually when you buy a pack of DSP there's quite a lot in there um, so it's quite good value for money really this is Butterfly Kisses um, is it Butterfly Kisses or Butterfly Wishes? No, it's Butterfly Kisses. That's definitely what it is. Um, so these beautiful, bright, vivid colours. Aren't they beautiful? This is Sweet Sorbet and Parakeet Party. Um, that's probably Purple Posy or it could be Highland Heather. I really like that. It does make my eyes go funny a bit, but I think I'm going to look at that for the inside of my card, possibly. And we've got some lovely flowers. I love those. Um, but we've also got those as well really really pretty even more vi vibrant so this is the sweet sorbet and the parakeet party with a tiny bit of that um that purple in there uh even teeny tinier flowers um for that one and again a mix of that purple which i think might be highland heather um but i'm really quite prepared to be put right on that one um sweet sorbet and parakeet party and then our butterflies i'm not going to be using that um and then we have some more of that light purple there the lilac i they don't do it for me but i do love this so i might use that you know if you like if you like butterflies these are great good for fussy cutting round um i saw crafty karen designs fussy cut round those well impressed um i don't mind fussy cutting but i would make an absolute hash of those antennae um, so we've got that on the back of that and then that's quite nice that one because it's the smaller butterflies with these uh, flowers in there as well so I think I'm going to use this mainly because it's got starry sky on here as well which I really like I love that blue I'm a real knight of navy person and I adored misty moonlight when it was um, when it was current but I love starry sky I really love that um, so I think I'm going to be using that because I don't go a bundle on the butterflies and then I might use that as well or that I don't know I don't know let's see how we go so what I'm going to do I'm going to start off with some starry sky um, cardstock to start off this card so there's my card it's a real deep blue color it's not as dark as night of navy night of navy is very close to getting onto black i think um but it's it's a bit bluer 
if that makes any sense at all. It's not as dark as Night of Navy. It's just, it's a bit more blue. And I like that with that. Probably not going to go with that. Although that dot in there, in the middle of the flower, that there is probably Starry Sky. So we might use that. I don't know. It's a work in progress. Isn't that what they say when they have no idea what's going on? They call it a work in progress. Um, so I've got a piece of A4 and I'm going to trim this down. I've got my measurements here. Um, I'm going to trim that down to 11 and a half inches by five and three quarter inches. So let's get my um, paper trimmer. Now I've had a couple of comments on my YouTube channel recently about people saying, oh, I'm so glad you use inches. I really only deal in inches. And then sometimes people comment and say, oh, can't you do it in centimetres? Um, I don't I don't cope very well with centimetres. You know, I'm, I'm pretty much an inches person. OK, so um, and, and then there are some demonstrators out there who are super clever and will do it in both. Um, that just hurts my head. I can't do that. So I'm afraid uh, with me, you get inches. And <laughs> I'm afraid that's it. I'm sorry if I don't like that. Um, can't please everybody. We could try to, but really we can't. Right, I'm trimming that down to 11 and a half by five and three quarters. Now the strip that we get left, um, you could use that for all sorts of things. Might use it for a sentiment. You know, I really don't know how far I'm going to get with this, so might use that for a sentiment. But yeah, you know, that's that's useful. We're not going to throw that out. So that's my paper trimmer. I'm going to use the scoreboard, the simply scored to do my score lines. I just find that they're more accurate with the simply scored. Right, so I'm going to score this at, on the long side, four inches, eight inches, and nine and three quarters. And I need my bone folder and let's I've had a bit of a rearrange in my um, office come kind of craft room because I have sort of finished work for the summer. When I say sort of, I've still got stuff to do. Um, but I really wanted to turn this, what is an office usually during the week, into more of a craft studio. Let's be posh and call it a studio. So that's my, that's the card opening up there. So these two lines here, I'm going to fold this over like that, burnish that, and then I'm going to fold this one back. Like that. So that's what we've got. That comes in like that and that goes over like that. Now what you will notice because of the size of the card, this doesn't go to halfway just wasn't enough room so just need to be aware of that I, I know that you know sometimes I do this as well when I'm watching card makers I might adapt what they do and I've seen a similar design to this on YouTube I really wanted this to be mine this um so I kind of stopped looking at photos and videos and, and put them to one side and I want this to be mine um, but if you come to adapt this maybe to make it how you want it, which is absolutely fine, um, then maybe you want to use 12 by 12 paper and actually get that to fold over um, to the halfway line. You know, totally up to you. Totally up to you. So we've got that. So what I want to do is decorate the front. I am going to be die cutting a circle out of the front. But before I do that, I want to decide what I'm going to put on the front. And we could go with that, which is super pretty. Or we could go with that, which is super vibrant. And if I was doing a Facebook, if I was doing a Facebook live, I would be asking my audience. Or I could go with that, 
I know I said earlier on I wasn't really that fussed about the butterflies, but actually I could I could go with that. So let's let's try that. So I'm going to trim this down. So we'll put these to one side. And then I think I'm going to obviously I'm going to make that white, but I think I might put some stamping on there. And then I'm going to use this for these foldy over flaps like that. We'll see if we're going to put anything here. Might not need it, but we'll think about it. So I'm going to trim this down. And when I get my paper trim, I'm going to think what the measurements are. Um, it's going to be five and five eighths. Five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Gosh, we're 11 minutes in already. Uh, so three and seven eighths in width. Watch the direction of your paper. And then five and five eighths. No, this card is five and three quarters by six. You might want to make it bigger. It's entirely up to you. It does depend what size of cardstock you've got. Now, in a moment, I am going to be die cutting um, a circle out of here. And I need to stick this on first. I have tried it before when I did a similar card where I die cut that and then I die cut that. I really was making hard work for myself. The issue was the glue hadn't quite set. So I'm going to stick this on first and then I'll glue everything else and get everything else ready. Um, and then I'll die cut a circle out of here. So I've got to find the glue, which I um, can't see where it's supposed to be. Let's go and look for it. OK, so got my glue. Which seems to be surviving in the heat that we've had recently. If you are not from the UK, you might not know that we have had some seriously hot weather in the UK this week. And Monday, so that's Monday the 18th, um, I think it peaked at about 37 degrees. Certainly where I was, um, where I was working. Oh no, I was working from home on Monday. So at home it was about 35. Now in Wales, we don't get figures like that ever. Absolutely ever. I've lived in Wales for 23 years now and we have never had heat like that. I think probably the highest we've ever had might have been 30. So it was about 35 here. And then on Tuesday when I went to work, it was then about 38. Um, but I know in parts of the UK it hit over 40. Um, it's been mad. We haven't had weather like that ever. We broke all the records. So my glue has survived. Thank goodness. Right, we're going to put that there. I think, right, now these, let me think. I'm thinking out loud, thinking out loud. Um, I'm going to use those because I think that goes nicely with that. And these need to be one and something, one and five eighths wide by five and five eighths. And you need two of those. So let's get the trimmer back out. So one and five eighths. Now there is a blog post that goes with this and it's got all of the details of all of the products that I've used. So please go and have a look and have a browse around my shop. There's a link to my shop as well. I think there's a link to my shop in the um, in the description bar here as well. So you can go to my shop and have a big browse. I think there's stuff going on in the clearance rack at the moment. Um, but yeah, go and have a look and see what you think. Um, there's also a contact email for me um, but it's taffycrafting at gmail.com so if you want to email me about anything at all uh, then please do we also have a really good joining offer at the moment um, the joining offer includes the usual offer of choose 130 pounds worth of goods pay 99 but you get a planner with it as well um, which from the people I know that have acquired one said is really good if you love a planner. So they're going to go on there like that. I'll come back in a minute about joining stamping up and what that's about. 
We just need to concentrate on some things here first. So I hope you're all still with me. Did you make that brew? What did you have? Did you have a coffee? Are you watching me in the morning with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea? Or are you watching me in the evening with perhaps a glass of wine or a G&T? I haven't got either. I think, oh, what have I got there? Yeah, I've got a can of pop there. Oops. So what I like about that, the way that I trimmed that down was to make those match as best as possible. Like that. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit off. We're going to have a, a die cut piece on there in a moment. So while I'm here, let's get something on here because I really want to give plenty of time for this to set. What I'm going to do is put a piece of white uh, card on here, just a basic white card. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of stamping. OK, so let's just put that to one side for a moment. And I've just got some white card here. Um, I've got out Hello Ladybug. Let's see if I'm not going to change my mind on that in a moment. So I'm going to trim this down to three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. I'm intending this to be a birthday card so I think what I'm going to do is stamp this in the middle may your greatest wish come true which I think is nice for a birthday we make a wish on our birthday don't we we wish we weren't another year older so there's that so I've gone and left my starry sky ink over the other side of the room let's just grab that It's not there it is and then also in the hello ladybug stamp set we've got these nice flowers we've also got this big daisy i don't think i'm going to use that i think i'm just going to stick with these flowers i'm going to keep it simple let's hope i can stamp first time we'll see so right in the middle of that, keeping my fingers crossed that it is going to be straight. That looks good to me. Now, because I'm stamping in some bright and dark colours, I'm going to get my stamping scrub out. Let me show you my stamping scrub. I love this. So it's got two parts to it. We've got, you've got a little symbol on here that shows you, this shows raindrops. So what we do is we spray our stamping mist on here. This stuff smells amazing. It really is a lovely smell. Um, and then this side has got the sunshine on it, so we keep that dry. So we scrub that on there like that. And then we dry it on there like that. I love it. Just have it to the side of you. you. Don't have to spray it every time. And then I can put my stamp back. So here are my flowers, which I'm going to, I think I'm just going to stamp down here. And I'm going to start off with sweet sorbet. I do like to do a test stamp before I go ahead and do this. That's stamping nicely. It could be better, but that will do. I'm just going to tap that a little bit lighter. And I'm, I think I'm going to put one of those up here. And then I'm going to put one in green down here. Don't want to do too much to it. I need to give it some room to be able to 
for whoever's writing the card to be able to write on it. So again, we clean as we go. That's the camera shaking because it's attached to the desk. And then I've got my parakeet party. For those of you that have been um, uh, shopping with Stampin' Up for quite a while, this reminds us of Lemon Lime Twist, which everybody missed. Right, that needs another bit of a scrub. That's the problem with using really vivid colours. They do need a good scrub. Probably could have done that a bit better. Okay, so let's dip that in Parakeet Party. I will do my test stamp. Yep. And I'm going to just stamp that there. Oops, I've got a ridge on my table. There we go. So it leaves just enough room for somebody to be able to write a sentiment. So let's get that stuck in the middle of the card and then we'll be able to do our die cutting. My glue went a bit gloopy there. Now make sure it's the right way up. I've done this before on camera. Turn the card round and then put my sentiment on. I think I did that on a Facebook Live. I felt such a twit. Right, now I'm going to turn that over and then disperse that glue. Otherwise, you can kind of see the ridges of it behind the card, so you do need to disperse that glue. The reason we do that is because we know, because we've we've been there and we've made that mistake. Well, it's not a mistake, it's kind of a discovery, really. OK, so there's the inside of our card. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to choose the right size circle. It doesn't have to be a circle. Um, you could have an oval, um, you could have a square. But what's going to happen is that whatever we die cut out here, we're going to stick here. So then it, it's shown the other side. Hope that makes sense and there are plenty of not just the layering circles and the layering rectangles but then you've also got um, other um, shapes as well that are die cut so for instance the um, the contour dies um, i've forgotten what that is scalloped contour dies they um you know you could have a bit of a frame going on there if you want to i'm going to keep it with circles that's what i want to do so i'm just going to go and grab my circle dies so here they are, and I need to decide what size. That's too big. So we don't want to lose all the butterflies. I think that's okay. We can still see plenty of butterflies. So that's the size of the scallop one, because what I'm going to do is put um, something on the outside. So that's where... I also want it to fit this. Oh, I might be unlucky there. Oh, I might be. That's not going to work. Is that going to be too small? I'm going with it. That's what I'm going with. So then I want a circle, a plain circle. So in the layering circle dies, we have a scallop circle and we have the plain edge. And I want the plain edge to be ever so slightly smaller than the scalloped edge. And I'm really thinking that I want to have that bigger one. I've now got to make a decision. It's really difficult because you want to get it right and you want it to look nice. I'm going with that. So it means that I've got to go and find another piece of card because that is not wide enough for that. OK, so what I'm going to do now is start off by die cutting. I've got to think now, I'm going to die cut that circle out of there. 
So what I'm going to do is get my big shots. I, I've only got the mini cut and emboss and the mini cut and emboss is only three inches wide and we need something that is up to six inches wide. Now if I had the bigger cut and emboss then I would use that but I'm going to have to use my old faithful um, big shot and I'm going to put that as close to the middle as I can. Um, so probably what I'll do is um, I can't bring my big shot here it's just way too big um, but that is what I'm going to do. Run it through that way with the smaller circle. So I've still got my scallop circle here. I'll show you in a moment what I'm going to do with that. But I'm just going to go off now and die cut. The card isn't closed, it's open. And I'm just going to feed it through until it's cut the circle. So that pops out like that. Now what we're going to do we could potentially have that come through like that. I don't know. I'm thinking about this at the moment. It could go through like that and keep the whole image complete. That would be really quite tricky to um, to get that to match perfectly. But I'd be absolutely willing to give that a go and then put the sentiment on there. And I think that works quite nicely. Or I could just die cut a piece of white card with this um, layer it with some starry sky so I could actually thinking out loud die cut a piece of that out and then die cut a smaller white circle and stamp and stamp that I don't know let's see what happens or I could just maybe punch a shape out and put that on the front let's let's just have a think about that let's put that to one side I need to do something with this and what I'm going to do is die cut this with the, the scallop circle which is just very slightly bigger than the circle we've used to um, take the circle out the front of the card because what I'm going to do is create a border to put over this. So what I'm going to do is grab, see if I've got some scrap of this starry sky, this isn't wide enough sadly. Um, so I need to go and find another bit of scrap of that and then die cut that, which is going to be tricky because I need to make sure I've got a very even border all the way around. So I had to look in my kind of scrap and I found that that would make an absolutely fine border all the way around. Let's, well, let's see if it works. I say that. We need to check that that works. So I'm just going to cut out around that. And then I'm going to put that through my big shot. I could put that through the um, mini cut and emboss, um, but the, the big shot is out, so I'll use that. And what I'm going to do is not do it that way, but do it this way. And let's find, I've got some in here. What I'm going to do is put post-it note over there or you could use washi tape you could use anything you like and I'm just going to stick that over there like that to hold it down and then what I'm going to do is get out my big shot run that through and then I'll show you what we've got okay that's what I've got I've got that I've also got that as well maybe if we need it throw that bit away we don't need that so if I get this card back what I'm hoping will happen is that that fits on there beautifully I think that is lovely I'm so glad I went with that and not the starry sky because I didn't waste a whole piece of card now the tricky bit is is sticking this down we haven't got to match it or anything we've just got to get it to sit on the outside so you just want this glue would better behave itself. Just one. Just a little bit of glue going all the way around. And a little bit might come off the edges, but to be honest, it dries clear. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. What I am going to do though is Let's just put a bit of card there in case it sticks. Put 
that over there and then just make sure that we do not see any of that paper behind it. Like that. Really pleased how that's come out. What we've got to do now is decide what we do with this. And I think I want it to go in there and match. I really do. And then put a sentiment on there. So what we'll do is we'll get that to stick. But I think what I want to do first is get my sentiment going. Yeah, let's do that. So I need, I think, probably just like to make a banner that goes in the middle of it. But I need um, a happy birthday sentiment, I think, or something similar. Now, something absolutely awful happened this week, um, craft wise, before anybody thinks there's been a disaster. Uh, craft wise, I have the stamp set Wildflower Path and the happy birthday sentiment has gone missing. And I'm devastated because it is my favourite happy birthday sentiment and I'm going to have to buy a new stamp set just to get that back I'm so disappointed so we need to find an alternative so I'm just going to find a stamp set um that's got a nice happy birthday sentiment now one of my latest acquisitions is go to greetings and these are the greetings that I would probably use the most with card making so we've got some happy birthdays in here um I love this one and I really like this one. Not quite sure which one I'm going to use yet. We've got a thank you um, and then some just a notes, hellos and um, big thank yous, big happy birthdays. So I'm just going to see what fits. Or we could just have a very small sentiment on there and then we could put our happy birthday on here. Not quite sure yet. I'm thinking as I'm going along, it needs something in the middle there. Absolutely needs something. Um, otherwise, it just looks like a jigsaw piece. Uh, let's have a look. Where's the happy birthday? Might fit in there. The thing is about this card, and I've been thinking about this, is that it's only when the card my gosh that's made for it it's only when the card is received in the post and out of the envelope is when you see it like that it's actually when it's sat on the shelf it's going to be like that you're, you're never really going to see it shut um but oh gosh look at that it absolutely fits perfectly absolutely perfectly so i think what i'm going to do is thinking on my feet here <laughs> really trying to think Let's get a strip of card. So I'm just going to just going to trim this down to an inch. We're going to have it a lot narrower than that, I think, because I want to have a border. Let's go three quarters of an inch. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Just looking at my thought processes and things. Um, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed doing this today um, and I've had messages from so many people or comments on here saying, yeah, we're quite happy to watch a long video. It doesn't bother us. Bring it on. So, you know, that's what I'm doing. Um, right. What am I doing? Three quarters. So this needs to be seven eighths of an inch. Just want a nice border. So what I'm going to do is stamp on the white bit. Um, and then I'll trim it. OK, um, where is my ink block? It's over here. Let's get rid of that for a minute. So go to greetings um, is a cling stamp set. Um, and I haven't put the uh, sticker on, but it will it will sit on there. Now I'm going to stamp this in starry sky just so that it stands out and I'm going to stamp that right to the left right to the left I'm going to stamp that to the left how to confuse people now details of all the products that I've used 
um, are on my blog. So I will, as I said before, I've left a link to that. But also, just to let you know that we are, look at that, um, we are in the middle of celebration. We've got another month of that to go. It runs out, it runs out, it's, it stops at the end of August. So for every £45 or €60, Euros, I think that is, for every £45 that you spend, you can choose a level one reward. Um, if you spend £90, you can have either a level two reward or two level one rewards. Um, I do have some spare catalogues. I'm sending some out um, as we speak, um, but I do have a few spare. So if you would like a catalogue, please get in touch with me um, and I will I will get one in the post to you. So that's the mini catalogue, which is now live, the celebration catalogue and the main annual catalogue as well. So I'm just trimming that down. That was luck more than judgment that I got that in the middle. So what we're going to do is stick that on there. Now, sometimes I do this with scissors and I'll make a bit of a hash of it. So this time I'm going to do it with a trimmer. Like that, that's a bit too, that's a bit too much. So let's just trim that down a teeny tiny bit more. That's what I love about the trimmer, you can be so precise. Yeah, there we go. So we've got that. How are we doing on time? 36 minutes. I think that's good seeing as I didn't have an absolute clue what I was doing before I started. Um, <clears throat> so let's mount that with dimensionals. Those of you that have watched me regularly know that I absolutely love stamping dimensionals. These are easier to pick up now that I've taken the gels off my nails. I'm going to go naked for a couple of weeks. On well, my nails, I mean. Um, right, let's pop that on there so it's got that nice border all the way around. And that is going to sit on there. It's too wide. It's too wide. Right. We were doing so well. So I'm going to see if I can take this off without mucking up the paper, uh, mucking up the card. I might have to redo that, but I'm going to snip the end off that. You know, this is what sometimes happens with crafting. We just have to make adjustments. It's not making a mistake. I was doing quite well up until this point, really. OK, that works. So I'm going to fit that right up to the edge, but still with a bit of a border. And then I'm going to use scissors and an eye. Now, I haven't got the greatest of eyes. Now, I'm not going to put that on yet. What I want to make sure of first is that I get this on straight. So that matches up there. So, oh, no, it doesn't. So I'm just going by this butterfly here and matching that up. OK, so then I'm going to take that off. Let's do this with liquid glue. I was going to do it with dimensionals, but I'm actually going to do it with liquid glue to make sure it's right. So I'm just putting glue on the bit that I know that sticks to the card. You don't want to put it all over. Um, so we're going to put that there. Now we need to be quick. We have got a bit of wiggle room with um, liquid glue. I'm not putting it down yet. I need to get a rough idea of where I need to be without getting glue everywhere. Get it down and get it moved. Whoa. <laughs> That was scary. And there it's it's down. It's going nowhere now. I'm happy with that. And we didn't have any seepage of glue. OK. And we'll put that on there like that. I'm absolutely thrilled with that. That's just gone really well. I love it when a plan comes together. 
Now, if you didn't know, I have mentioned that I've got Facebook because I do Facebook Lives, but there is a link to my Facebook page as well. Um, and in a couple of weeks time, I'm going to start my lives again. But I can't do it yet because I've got my parents coming to stay with me for a week, coming to see their brand new great grandson. And so I need I need them to go. <laughs> so when they've gone, I'll start some lives. There we are. So there's our card. I don't think that needs anything on that side. I thought it would. Um, I'm not going to. It doesn't need it. I don't know what this is called. There, there is a thing for you know, people naming card, fancy fold cards. This is this is like a window card, an aperture window card. I don't know. It's a card, isn't it? With some folds and some die cuts and some stamping and some pretty paper and some pretty colours. I hope you like that. I hope you followed along. Um, in the blog, it's just going to have the details of the products that I've used. Um, in the next couple of days, I will try and get all of the measurements on there. But to be honest, what you need to do is that there's your width of your card. So if that's four inches, then you want another four inches and then whatever you've got left, divide it by two. So if you can get another four inches out of there, then score here in between those and then it will go all the way over. To be honest, I quite like it like that. It doesn't matter. We also have a sharing group called Craft and Banter on Facebook. So if you make anything like this or want to come and show it on Taffy Crafting on Facebook, please come and do that. You don't have to be from the UK. You can be from wherever. I've got people from all over the world on my Facebook page. Um, so please come along, come and visit, maybe join in a live one day. A um, couple of weeks time they'll be going live. Um, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.